Hi, it's Dwyer. Today is September the 23rd, 2017. RichardDwyer.com, DwyerSportsBetting.com, keeping it free, .blogspot.com. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, let's talk about investments for a moment. There is a great moment in music on a current cut. It's Jay-Z on the story of OJ, right? Warning, the track is adult themed, right? It's not for kids. Well, let me just say this, on the track, and it's a brilliant track, Jay-Z, an artist I admire, I don't know personally, Jay-Z starts talking about investing in art, right? How one of his art investments has appreciated the money he's gained in terms of its value and how he's trying to share this investment knowledge and give value to the listener for $9.99, right? Simply put, it's one of the best moments in hip-hop history. It's great stuff. Well, let me say this. While I know that fine art is certainly a great way to park money, right? Just understand that cryptocurrency is far better. Let's talk about four reasons why, right? The first is that you can fake art. You can't fake crypto, right? The math is the math. Either the transaction can be validated or it can't be. No one can spoof Bitcoin, Ethereum, or Dash. Your wallet is not going to accept fake currency, right? The mining network is not going to be able to confirm transactions with fake currency. I just want people to understand again that the math is the math. Let's talk about a second reason why cryptocurrency is vastly superior to an investment in art. Just understand that you cannot split fine art in two, right? You have two kids, you can't say to them, just tear that Monet down the middle and each of you take half of it. But you can split crypto. Understand crypto is divisible. Right? If the price of Bitcoin is too much, you can buy a fraction of Bitcoin. If you want to divide the Bitcoin you have between your two kids, you can do that easily. If you have three kids, you could do that easily. Four kids, you could do that easily. Five kids, you need to start living your life in a way where you're doing things other than having children. But you get the point I'm trying to make. Let's talk about a third reason why crypto is superior to investing in art. You know, government can come into your house, mansion, townhome, condo, apartment, and they can confiscate your art, right? They can stop your art dealing easier than they can confiscate your crypto and stop your crypto dealing. Understand that unlike the world of art, cryptocurrency is decentralized. I want you to look at what's happening right now in China, right? They've shut down the cryptocurrency exchanges. They're banning people from traveling to cryptocurrency conferences in places like Hong Kong. They're trying to crack down on crypto to stop all of the capital outflows out of the country. Well, China's not the only place where there's crypto. Overnight, and it's a great moment for crypto, 
a lot of the trading of cryptocurrency moved to Japan, moved to South Korea, right? Countries like Australia are now passing legislation to prevent the double taxation of cryptocurrency in that country. If you go to dashforcenews.com, a site you should look at every day, you're going to see that they're having cryptocurrency meetings now, meetups in Africa, all across the continent. Right, so crypto is decentralized. China, with the world's biggest army in terms of the number of soldiers, is helpless in trying to deal with this decentralized multinational technology. Right now, if China wanted to crack down on art in China, they'd be able to do so. It's a little bit harder to get across the border with a Rembrandt than it is with a digital hard wallet. Right? Understand, too, only an amateur would bring a digital hard wallet to the border because they would be able to transfer the funds online. You wouldn't have to wait to the border. Right? For the intellectually inclined among us, understand too, you could show up at the border without your digital hard wallet. You could literally have your private keys memorized. Sounds bizarre, just understand that if you're holding enough money in cryptocurrency, you'll find a way to memorize your private keys. Right? Understand too the way private keys operate. You could send yourself code. <laughs> you, you know, you don't have to have the private keys written down on a piece of paper. You could have it digitally in different places in the cloud, right? In other words, it's almost impossible to bust someone transporting cryptocurrency, right? Digital medium across the border. Let's just say it's far easier to bust someone trying to carry physical pieces of art that, of course, need to be in pristine condition to fetch top dollar. Let me just close by just pointing out to that unlike fine pieces of art, right? That Van Gogh looks great on your wall, right? But understand, cryptocurrency, by contrast, can actually help clothe, house, feed, people in need. Look at what's happening right now in Venezuela. We don't even have to get abstract about this. You have real world situations where cryptocurrency is helping people keep the value of their financial holdings as the local currency deteriorates. Right? So in Venezuela, cryptocurrency is popular. Why? Because if you held the local currency, you're losing value every day. And understand, when you have to feed kids, you can't explain to them that the local currency that you had that lost value means that they only get half the meal. That when you were at the supermarket, you weren't able to buy the full loaf of bread. You had to buy half a loaf. Right? With cryptocurrency, it's different, isn't it? Just compare and contrast the Venezuelan currency with the value of cryptocurrency. Let's just say Bitcoin, Dash, Monero have done infinitely better than Venezuela's currency. Now, if you're concerned with using your finances to do things like feed your children, just understand that you can do so more easily, more readily with cryptocurrency then you can the Van Gogh on your wall, right? So, let's hope that Jay-Z follows up the story of OJ with a cut called the story of Ch Chitosi, right? Or me and cryptocurrency. I need to have minorities especially, minorities like me, understand the power and investment opportunities created by this new technology. Because understand, it's poor people who are hurt the most 
when the local currency debases itself like it has in Venezuela, right? When you lose purchasing power and you don't have discretionary income and all of the money you have is going to things like feeding your children, you're in a different position entirely than the person who's dabbling in buying art at auctions. Anyway, that's how I see it. Let me hear from you if there's anything you want to contribute to this dialogue. I hope you do so in the comment section to this video. Thanks for stopping by.